things to remember when doing the step over. The first thing is, you wanna be on this side of the ball. If you're left footed, if you're right footed, you wanna be here, okay? It's gonna make things very, very difficult if you're trying to do a step over and you have to go over here, then reach around here, and then try and go this way, okay? So, as I'm predominantly left footed, when I make my step over, I don't wanna keep my body straight up like this. If there's a defender right here, he's not gonna fall for it. Taking a step over like that doesn't sell the fake. To do a real step over, to do the step over that you guys, that you see on TV, all the good guys, you need to lean and you need to drop your shoulder, okay? Those are essential. Once you're here, the most important thing is to explode. And so you're gonna need to push off this foot, go into there and then explode, okay? Really push into it. That's what's gonna create the space. That's what's gonna give you a chance to make a cross or get off a shot, all right? So I see a lot, I see a lot of little kids when they're five and they're six, they wanna step over the ball. So they step over like this, they step over like that because they're a little smaller and they don't yet have the strength and the flexibility and the agility to do a proper step over. So they do like this and that doesn't give them enough energy and enough um, power to push off. So remember, it's not a step over. It's really kind of like a step around. So we step around and we're out like that, all right? To execute the perfect step over, you need to build up speed. What you wanna do is build up enough speed that by the time you get to the defender, you can make your move and explode in the other way. So it should be like that. Let's do it again one more time. I'll do it right footed for you guys also. If you're right footed, notice the little touches before. That's also gonna be important. If you're taking big touches like this, it's gonna make it really hard to then get up to it Keep the ball moving and get your body going. So right footed, like that. Double step overs, once you're there, the ball needs to keep rolling in order for you to do the two step overs. If you dribble like this, your ball stops, you've lost your momentum. What you need is the ball to keep moving in order to do your two step overs and then to explode. So, boom, and you're gone. The same thing applies when you're trying to do more than two step overs. You're trying to do three, four, five, six, whatever it is. You need to build up speed, the ball needs to keep moving, and that's gonna give you enough time to get in all your step overs and then explode. So have a look, okay? All right. Give you guys one more example. Little touches, little touches, explode. and you're gone, all right? So now B's gonna act as the defender so you guys understand what it looks like and what we want from, or what we wanna get out of the step over when we do it on a defender, okay? So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take you guys through it really slow. We're here, I make my step over. What happens to the defender there is that he flinches at least. He's gotta worry, am I gonna actually make that, that touch? Am I gonna go through his legs? Am I gonna do whatever, okay? And once we make that lean, all right, He's gonna flinch, he's gonna stop. And in that moment, you need to know, when you explode, you gotta go right there. Because if you don't explode, he's gonna recover from that. Unless your step over is so sick that he falls over, you are going to need to explode after you've made that step. So you make that step, he goes, boom, we're gone. Okay.